Dr. Disrespect's Dead Drop just released their 2024 roadmap, and what's really interesting about this one is that it's probably not what you think it is. Now, I'm a fanatic for roadmaps. I fucking love roadmaps. They are awesome. I think they're the greatest thing since sliced bread, but this one sucks. This one is a blog post. I don't get a picture or visual of what the goals are for the development team. I just get to read seven paragraphs of nonsense that I could have discerned on my own. Now, just so that you don't have to read this blog post, let me go over it for you. There's seven paragraphs. The first one is talking about releases, which is just talking about the snapshots and their plans for releasing. Now, they're planning on releasing early access, hopefully this year, which is pretty cool. The next one's going to be optimization. So basically, they're just saying, OK, we want people with a 1070 GTX 1070 graphics card or equivalent to be able to play this game. But we also want people with uh, RTX uh, 4090 Ti to just get 3000 FPS. Next is going to be hideout. They just are literally talking about the hideout that they've already created and adding support for the new features that are in the game, like the vehicles and vendors and displays. So they're not really saying one way or another of like, oh, we're going to add a playable hideout. Mm, I was kind of hoping for that, but uh, OK. The fourth paragraph is called planning for the future, and this one is basically talking about how they want to implement mechanics for people to create their own things in the game and be able to sell them and to have a platform for that. The fifth paragraph is talking about visuals, so they really want to work on the visuals of the game. Uh, that's cool. I mean, it's in like pre alpha, apparently, supposedly, so I don't really care. Quests and contracts. It's basically saying uh, they want to add factions or maybe there's already factions. I don't really think there is, but I guess in case there is, they want to create contracts and quests for the different factions and create rewards revolving around that. And then there's the console. I don't know why they named the last paragraph console. It's kind of silly. They could have put like console release or something, but it's basically just saying that they want to release the game to console either at some point or hopefully with early access. That would be pretty dope. So basically, Dead Drops 2024 roadmap sucks balls. It's horrible. It's just a blog post about somewhat of their plans and somewhat of what they've already done. And uh, it was not very promising. It doesn't sound like they're really going to get much done and they plan on releasing to early access already. What the fuck is up with companies releasing games that are not ready? Like they're just talking about uh, we're going to add a little bit of art here and uh, a little bit of uh, uh, like some other stuff that should already be in the game right here. And we're going to add compatibility for this here. And uh, and then it's good. We're ready to go. Uh, yep. Uh, enjoy the game. Um, if anybody could explain that to me, please leave a comment down below. And if you want more videos like this, then go ahead and just click subscribe because you can guarantee that I will be continuing to make more videos like this. But other than that, hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Peace!